was a, a number of states. This is the second system after getting dumped on in a generational storm, the first, you know, the heaviest snow in a generation in the northeast. Here's number two. This stretches from the deep south all the way to the Canadian border, and this one comes with severe weather. We have reports now of damage in the Hattiesburg, Mississippi area, and if you see the line, this has been our threat for severe weather for the daytime period from the afternoon now, hours into the early period. We have tornado watches that are in effect here, and we're going to run through this, but you can see significant lightning. Now, the rain has moved into Atlanta, but the severe weather with the tornadoes back in areas of southwest Alabama into southern and central areas of Mississippi. If we can get in a little bit closer here, you'll be able to see exactly what we're talking about. In fact, as far as the uh, models are going, let's see if we can get this here. Here we go for you. We'll bring this up for you. You get an idea exactly of the tornado watches. The botch box is in effect only for a short period of time. In fact, let me run through some uh, counties for you that we do have warnings. Now, in southwest Alabama, it's Choctaw, it's Clark County, it's Washington counties. That's until 6 o'clock, and that's central uh, uh, the standard time. Then, in, of course, it's Forest County and Jones County. That's in back in Mississippi here, where we've had the, the possibility of tornadoes, and again, damage has been reported. We have received a few pictures. We're trying to get the clearance, and we're going to show those to you soon, but it does look like we did have a funnel that actually did make it down, touch the ground to become a tornado. We've had numerous warnings already earlier in the afternoon period into the early evenings, and those were in advance of the system, but as this entire system slides, this is what we're starting to see. Now, these are pictures we're seeing for the first time here. Uh, and for the most part, yes, you maybe picture out a, fu a funnel in, in this photo here. If we take a look at a few more, there we go. Coming down, that is, yeah, that's without a doubt, that's a tornado on the ground. Again, these are in the Hattiesburg, Mississippi area. These storms have been moving to the east-northeast at, at 40 miles per hour reports per, uh, and even up to near 45 to 50. Now, this is just one uh, particular cell. There have been several in the area that are moving across this region. Uh, if you get a close look, there's some of the pictures that we can see are affiliate uh, here, WDAM-TV uh, is live on the air. Now, notice the brighter colors here. Now, this is significant. We're getting uh, reports of even uh, two inches of rain per hour with this. The same system is going to continue to affect this area into the evening period and overnight. And that's the frightening thing, Brianna, is that we're going to continue to have these watches. Uh, the one in Mississippi will come to an end shortly. They will be extended throughout central and eastern parts of Alabama and most likely into Georgia. The same system is going to bring some rain to the, the heavy snow. No, of course, we had in areas in the northeast.